benefits of microdosing are infinite. I mean, it helps with focus. It helps with mental clarity. Somebody going to get these hands today. Somebody going to get these hands. Oh, got me one. Got me one. Hold up. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, excuse my name me. is Jody. I'm a mobile barber. Um, I was wanting to know, are you interested in getting a free haircut? Yeah. Here? No, not here. I got a mobile barber shop. You want to check it out? I mean, you kidnapping me? No. Oh. Uh, love it. Look, all I'm trying to do is bless you with a free haircut. I see you got like a nice undercut with Thank a little you. balayage going Thank on. You. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to bless you with a free haircut. Uh, you know what? Why not? What? What you think? I have never seen something like this before. You wanna do it? Yeah, why not? Let's do okay, it. Okay, let's do it. Let's All right. Do it. All right. All right, so how you want your haircut? I need like a bulb fade. Uh-huh. And then, you know, going up slowly at it, it's a little bit longer. I don't want it bald all the way to the top. Okay. But I want it to start like as far close to my neck as I can and then gotcha. fade it up. I don't know if it needs a trim or some thinning out or something because it just feels kind of heavy, you can do that. Okay. But if it looks fine, then I'll trust you. Okay, all right. Bet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sometimes you just got to trust the process. You know? <laughs> most, de most definitely, you got to trust the process. So while I got you in this chair, you know, I know we all know each other. I just want to know what is your name mm -hmm. and what do you do? So my name is Brianna Morse and I am actually an entrepreneur like you. Um, I own a coaching and consulting company and I work with uh, psychedelics in the psychedelic field, helping people. Mm -hmm. So when you say psychedelic, you mean as in what? Like magic mushrooms. What, what's the benefits of actually mushrooms? Because um, I only had mushrooms one time, I'm just to be honest. What but, happened? Um, well, I looked down, I was in Las Vegas. I ain't gonna lie, I was at the Venetian Hotel. Yeah. And so I was checking in the hotel. I had to cut a client at the Venetian. I was like, man, I don't feel like going nowhere. I'm, I'm, I'm booking a hotel here. So as I'm, I, as I'm checking out, I look down at my bag, my bag starts breathing. <laughs> I was like, what? My bag is free. I just look. So I, I got the room. My uh, mind did something crazy. It was like, I picked the bag up. I said, come on, bag with your breathing ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. It was like the craziest experience ever. Uh, I was like, uh, why is my bag breathing? Yeah. So I help people with what's called microdosing, which is taking a lot smaller of a dose than you probably ever took. Mm -hmm. And the benefits of microdosing are infinite. I mean, it helps with focus. It helps with mental clarity. It helps like boost your mood. It reduces depression, anxiety. It helps with creativity. Um, it helps like deepen your like spiritual walk. It's it's really cool. So so you don't need a lot. No. You need a lot to basically like a get pinch, a pinch. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, where, where you probably took the whole dang thing. Yeah, I did. I it was my, it was my first time. So I, oh my gosh. I seen Soul Plane with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah. Ate all the, <laughs> ate all the um, mushrooms. Yeah. So I was like, well, he ate a whole bunch. Of, I'm just gonna eat one. But sure enough, oh yeah, the bag was like on breathing terms. Oh my gosh. So the benefit of it is like you took that big dose, mm -hmm. and obviously you had you know the things that you had. Right, but right. I'm sure the next few days, did you feel pretty good? I did. Yeah, like more positive. Yeah. Open. So people can take a smaller dose and still feel all those things and still shave somebody's head or like hold a business meeting or drive their kids to school or whatever. Right, because I know they got some barbers out here that say don't take drugs, don't mix drugs with business. Yeah. But, you know, when you talk of, when you speak of it in that sense, it makes it more of a add-on. Like a tool. You know, because barbershops are, you know, crowded and busy and you're dealing with a lot of people. And for the most part, you know, a lot of people, it's a lot of egos. And, yes. You know, somebody had a bad day coming in the shop. So I can kind of see how that would, you know, kind of help, you know, a whole barbershop as a unit or a barber as an individual. Oh, yeah. I feel like in my work, so, you know, I'm a licensed therapist first in the state of California. But when I moved out here... 
um, they wouldn't give me reciprocity or like transfer my license. So that's why I started my business over again. So I can relate to you starting your business as you did. It's funny because I look back at how I was as a therapist and I'm like, man, I wish I was microdosing 16 years ago when I first started doing therapy because I would have been a better therapist. Some people, it's very interesting because since microdosing started getting popular a few years ago, um, you'll see things on social media for what they're saying, like, oh, take these mushrooms and they'll help with X, Y, and Z, but they're more medicinal, you know, like lion's mane and all the other reishi, chaga. Yes, exactly. So, but that's not, that's not, microdosing is considered taking a psychedelic substance in a small amount. Right. So it has to be psychedelic. So the lion's mane, it's like taking lion's mane and uh, shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, it's like taking vitamins. Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously outside of mushroom psilocybin, I've done ayahuasca, which is like. Really? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. How'd you? Stop, stop, stop. We're going to have to bother you for the day, see? <laughs> you, you got all the blood. Wow. I, have you heard of it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that, I actually so like, I, lo- I love that more than mushrooms. Like, I, the experience. Uh-huh. I, I, was it, was it? I mean, it's hard. Now that, it's hard. I would be a little bit scared of, not scared, but I would be a little bit hazy because it's the type of, type of experiences that, that they oh, see you go through when you take that. Oh, I have some scary ones. Really? Yes, that, but every time, if you would have asked me after, like if I would do it again, I, I would say yes. But well, why, well, why though? Because what I got out of it, like the level of awareness and what happened, like I... I wouldn't have got it any other way, mm. but through that experience. So, are you saying it helped you through something? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so explain, explain ayahuasca oh for my people gosh. that don't know. So, ayahuasca is from a vine in South America, usually, and because I don't know, people are, around here are saying they're growing it. So, right. but um. It's a mixture of a vine and a leaf. And the vine is very similar in components to like what an antidepressant would do for you. So it like boosts your serotonin level and you know has you feel feel good. Gotcha. And then the leaf of the vine is very similar to DMT, which is like the hallucinogenic component. Gotcha. So they mash it up into like a drink that tastes disgusting. It's di- very disgusting. So what? So, so it tastes like you're drinking molasses. It's like thick and like dark. Molasses and it's, ain't bad. No, but the flavor, it's like I don't know. Once you taste it, you'll. It's not good. So how long does it take for it? You know, about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. What is the goal? Of your of your business, the goal, my the goal of my business is to really I, help people discover that like inside of them lives like a massive amount of joy and peace and freedom. I feel like no matter whether you're somebody who's you know flipping burgers and pissed that you you know can't get a promotion at your job or someone who's an owner of a Fortune 500 company, it's like. We've been taught to chase like more success and happiness through our accomplishments and the things that we do. But people forget that like that's never going to be what brings you joy and peace in your life. Like you have to like embrace it for yourself, whatever your circumstances. Like you sh- like you said, you know, like you were, you know, in your car and there were ma- multiple days where you were just on the struggle bus, but at some point you found a part of you that had you see that you could keep going and that this wasn't going to be it. Like, that's having joy in your heart at the same time as having struggle. And I think a lot of people find that they're only in the struggle where there's pain or suffering. Or like basically, they're not gratitude. Mm-hmm. Basically, gratitude is not there. You mm-hmm. focus on what you have, mm-hmm. so you lose even what you mm-hmm. have. Yeah. yeah, or like the faith that it's, you know... I think a lot of people, for instance, chase success and money, thinking that that's what's going to bring them more happiness. But most of the people that I work with in that position are the the least confident in themselves internally. There's a lot of struggle, you know, and that's what microdosing can do is it can like bring out all of these parts of ourselves that we hide behind through our successes, accomplishments, kids, whatever. You know, busy schedule, 
and it really shows you what you're possible of feeling and experiencing in life. All right, see you later. All right, bye. Thank you. Bye. See ya. See ya. Why walk when you can fly? It's grind time.